Hi, I posted a project on my blog last week and somebody messaged me and asked me how I'd made the label. It was just a little simple printed label that I made in Inkscape and then I used the Scan and Cut to cut out for me. So this is just a quick tutorial to show you how I did the print cut label project. So the first thing I did, I'm in Inkscape, I would just say that I've updated my Inkscape and now I'm on the latest stable version which is 0 0.91. Um, it's meant to be the stable version but I have to say I do find it a little bit buggy. So if things are in a slightly different place on my screen than they are in your version it may be you're using an older version. So. First of all, I created a rectangle. So I select the rectangle icon and drag, drag out a rectangle. And I'm going to remove the fill by left clicking on this red cross down here in the bottom left hand corner. And that takes the fill out of it. Now, I made mine with rounded corners. So the way that I did that, I came over to the node editing icon and you'll have a circle. Now it may be that you've got one circle here and um, this is how it normally comes up for default on me and when you drag this circle down it reveals another circle underneath and this circle that's now been revealed in the top right hand corner if you drag that left it will start to round the corners of your rectangle. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back to, to be a set rectangle because I want to make this the size I want it to be first before I start rounding the corners because if I do the corners first it can affect how it will look. So with the rectangle selected I'm going to come up here to the width and I'm going to, I've got the padlock unlocked, which means I can alter the width and the height independently. I'm going to highlight the width, which at the moment is 3.8 inches, and I'm going to make it 1.75. And then I'm going to click in this next box, highlight that, and change that to 0 0.37. And hit return. That's not changed, so I'll just change that. 1.75. Okay. Now I'm just going to zoom in. A little so you can see it better. Come back to the node editing icon and again I'm going to look for that circle and round the corners. Okay so at the moment on here if you look down in the bottom left hand corner I've got a stroke of black and no fill. I want this to be green so I'm going to just scroll along through the colours along the bottom until I get to the greens and I'm going to choose this one, which is 88AA00. So I'm going to right click on it and choose Set Stroke. And that gives me the colour that I want. Now, I'm going to just click anywhere on the page to deselect and I'm going to come to the text icon. And I'm going to click once. By default, I have my Inkscape set up to impact as the default font but I'm going to change that in a minute. So I'm just going to type Happy Christmas. I'm going to select it and I'm going to come back down here to this font, this 88AA00, and I'm going to right click and choose Set Fill. And that's made it the same colour green as this one. Now I'm going to come back to the text icon I'm going to click on this arrow here and when you, I found that when I first click on it I only get the few fonts that you can see here on the page but if I click it so they disappear and then click it again it brings up all the fonts I have installed on my computer and I want to use grandma's garden so I'm going to select that and that's now changed the font I'm going to select the selection icon so that the word gets selected and I can see that that's too big to go in there so holding the control key down on my keyboard I'm just going to drag this in to make it smaller and position it in there 
Now I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both to select them. I'm going to come up here to the Align tools, make sure I've got Selection selected, and I'm going to centre these horizontally and vertically. And that's now put them together. While they're selected, I'm going to go to Object and Group. And I'm now going to close that box down. And I'm just going to zoom out to the page so that you can see it. So that's my label ready done. But I wanted to print so many at once. So I'm just going to now duplicate and bring this down. And again. And then I'm going to select those three right click and duplicate so that will give me three more and then again select them all right click duplicate and that gives me about 12 now <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is drag an imaginary box around all of them I'm going to come back to the align tools still got selection chosen I'm going to use this second icon on the top row, align left edges, that lines them all up together. And then under distribute, I'm going to use this icon here, which is on the second row of distribute, and it's the fourth along. And basically it says, make the vertical gaps between the objects equal. And when I click that, it will adjust the spaces between each one of these equally. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I go to the scan and cut and scan this and then print it, I want to cut it with a 0 0.04 or one milli border. And by having that gap there and equal, I know that I'll be able to cut them with a border around them. So that is all I did. You can save this, you can do file, save as. I've also found um, if you want to make an SVG file in this new version of Inkscape and then open it in Canvas, I've also found that you have to save it as a plain SVG rather than the way I would have always saved my other files previously as just an Inkscape SVG. But in this particular instance, I'm not opening it in Canvas, so I can just do File, Save As, and put it on my desktop, or I can go straight to File, Print, and this will open my printer, and I will choose my printer, and I can click Print Preview if I want to, um, my printer's not turned on at the moment, so it probably won't preview it. And then I just literally printed. I put some a white piece of card in my printer and I printed this. And then I just went to the scan and cut, put the card on my regular mat, and I chose scan and direct cut, scanned this page through the scan and cut machine. It picked up all the designs. And then I chose to add an outline and I cut them and that was on the project that you saw last week. And I'll put a picture at the end of this video just to highlight the label and you can see how I did it. So it's very simple to do. I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.